Let's take a look at the slope intercept form of a line. Now our slope intercept of a form there we go. So our slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. Um, you have it solved for y, everything's the first power. Now if you have it in this form, the number that's in front of your x, m, is our slope. The number at the end is our y-intercept. <coughs> We're going to find that this form is very useful for a lot of different purposes. Uh, graphing is one of them we'll look at in this section. Now, um, all lines can be put in this form with the exception of our oddball cases. So let's talk about those. <sighs> we got two. The first one is uh, where we have x is equal to a number. And I'll actually put a number here just so we see it. <coughs> x is equal to 3. If you got x is equal to a number, it'll be a vertical line at that number. And um, m is undefined. And our um, y-intercept is none. So there isn't one. There's one exception to that. Uh, that's where you have x is equal to 0, where the line falls right on the, the, um, the y-axis. But I don't think I've ever seen that in any book. Then our other one is technically one we could actually use in this. But And uh, let's say we have, well, let me choose a different number. <coughs> Not that it matters. Y is equal to 2. That's going to be a horizontal line at 2. Now m is equal to 0. And on this one, our y-intercept is uh, actually two. Now that one would fit this form. Um, you'd have zero. You'd have zero for m, zero x plus plus b, so zero x plus two. Now point-wise, if you want to cross a problem that has like three comma something and three comma something, and they're asking you to find the equation of the line. Well, you shouldn't go through the steps of given. Uh, this is one of the oddball cases. Since they both have the x value the same, then it's automatically x equals 3. This particular one, you'll have uh, two points. Uh, you'll have something, comma, 2. And then you'll have something, comma, 2. Basically here, if you see the y values are the same, it's automatically y is equal to 2. You don't have to do any, um, do any work at all on that. <coughs> Those are oddball cases, but other than that, most of them will fit this um, slope intercept form. <coughs> Let's look at some problems. Y is equal to 8, 8x plus 2. And the instructions say find a slope and y intercept of the line whose equation is given. Well, this is in slope-intercept form, since it's already solved for y. So that works out perfect. Our slope is whatever's before our x. So m is equal to 8. And our y-intercept is the number at the end. So our y-intercept is 2, or if you were to write it in point form, it'd be 0, 2. And those would be our answers. <coughs> I'm still kind of sick. I apologize for that. 22x plus 4y equals 12. And it says find a slope and y-intercept of the line whose equation is given. Well, in order to um, tell what the slope and y-intercept is, you have to solve for y. That's what slope-intercept form says. So I'm going to take 22x over to the right side. So we've got 4y is equal to negative 22x plus 12. And then I'll divide both sides by a number in front of the y. So I'll divide both sides by 4. And do 
that, those four is going to cancel. And 22 over 4 reduces their top and bottom both divisible by 2, so that gives us negative 11 halves, x. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. <coughs> okay, so we wrote it in the slope intercept form. So again, the number that's before our x is our slope. So our slope is negative 11 halves. And our y intercept is the number at the end. So our y intercept is 3, or if you write it in point form, would be 0, 3. Now our third uh, example, we have y is equal to 4. This is one of our oddball cases. What makes these the oddball cases is you just got a single letter. You don't have both letters. Uh, you don't have x and y. Now y is equal to 4 uh, looks like this. It's a horizontal line at 4. So let's go ahead and sketch it. Sketching is oftentimes the easiest way to see on these. The oddball cases, that is. Okay, so I, I graph it. I got y is equal to 4. Um, obviously, m is equal to 0. And if I look at where it's crossing the y-axis, it looks like it's crossing at 4. <coughs> or if you want to write in point form, it'd be 0, 4. Now here we got x is equal to negative 5. And again, this is one of our oddball cases because we've got a single letter. Well, um, we said x equals a number as a vertical line at that number. So let's go to negative 5, and we'll draw a vertical line. Well, if you got a vertical line, m is undefined. Obviously, by looking at it, you can see there's no y-intercepts. doesn't cross the y-axis or touch it at all. So that'd be your that'd be your answer. <coughs> well, let's take a look at number five. Y is equal to two thirds x minus five. And it says use the slope and y intercept to graph each um each line whose equation is given. This is one of the purposes for the um, slope-intercept form, is to very easily graph it. Well, let's first talk about what we're given. Remember, our slope is number 4x, which is 2 thirds. And our y-intercept is the number at the end, which is negative 5. Now, um, the slope is a change in y over the change in x. And if it's uh, positive, then that means we're going to go up. If it's a negative, that means we'll go down in terms of our y. Now for our x. If it's positive, that means we go right. Ah, try it again. There. And if it's negative, that means we go left. Okay, so for this particular problem, we got a positive 2 up on top. Since it's positive, that means we're going to go up 2. Uh, we have got we got a positive 3 down below. Since it's positive, that means we'll go right 3. Now, these are so easy to sketch using the slope intercept or the slope intercept form. Uh, the first thing we do is we go and put a point at our y intercept which they tell us is negative 5. So I'm going to go to negative 5 and I'll put a point. Now from that point we're going to use a slope to get our second point. Um, and it says we're going to go up 2 and right 3. So we'll go up 2 and right 3 and that's where we'll put our second point. Now after you get your second point you draw a line through them and that's your graph. So again, we use the y-intercept to put our first point, and then we use the slope to go from that point, um, doing whatever they say, up to right 3 in this problem, and that gives us our second point. Once we have our two points, we'll just draw a line through them. And I think I have these, um, 
me just double check here. Okay, slope, um, intercept form of a line. <coughs> yep, I guess I have them all here. <coughs> so let me start a new page. Normally I save those if I if I haven't done that already, but and let's take a look at this one. We've got four x plus y is equal to three. It says graph each line using slope and y intercept. Well first thing we need to do is put it in the slope intercept form. We have to solve for y. So I take the four x and move it to the right side. Anytime you take anything across three equals your sign changes, so that becomes a negative four x plus three. Now this is in the slope intercept form. So the number that's in front of our x is uh our slope, so it's negative four. I'll put it over one. And our y intercept is the number at the end, which is three. Well remember this is a change in y over the change in x. Negative four means I'm gonna go down four. I'll get it here eventually. There you go. Positive one means we go right one. So let's uh let's draw this. So y intercept of three. So we're gonna go put a point at three. And we're gonna go down from there we're gonna go down four, right one. So one, two, three, four, down four, and right one. And that's where we put our second point. Now after you have your two points, you draw a line through them, and that's your graph. <coughs> yeah, let's take a look at another one. We got three x minus two y equals four. And same instructions. We want to um Graph each line using the slope and y intercept. Well, we have to solve for y. I have to put it in the slope intercept form. So I'm going to take negative 2y to the right side and take the 4 to the left side. Anytime you take anything across your equals, the sign changes. That so becomes 3x minus 4 is equal to 2y. Now, well, we want to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide by the number that's in front of the y, the 2. So we'll divide uh, the 3 by 2 and the negative 4 by 2. And those twos cancel. And we get 3 halves x minus 2 is equal to y. Now, if you got a slope intercept form, that's where you have to solve for y, then your slope is what's for your x, which in this case is 3 halves. And our y intercept is the number at the end, which is the negative 2. Now, remember we want this in fraction form. This is a change in y over change in x. Positive 3 means we go up 3. Positive 2 means we go down 2. So first thing we do is we go to our y-intercept, which is negative 2, and put a point. Down 2. Where in the world does that come from? Okay, let's try it again. Right 2. Sorry, I had a sun came in right uh, <laughs> when I was doing this and kind of disrupted me. He was just hand me my watch. Um, he's pretty good about picking the, picking the house up. Okay, so we put a point at our y-intercept. Then we're going to go up 3 and right 2. So go up 3 and right 2 and we'll put our second point. And again, after we have our two points, we draw a line through them. And that's our answer. He's actually the best one for not interrupting me. Um, rest of the rest of the family just kind of come barging in. Now this next one is a, a steps. So let me um let me start a new page so I can write these steps out. It says find the equation in line with the given slope and y-intercept. So slope is five-thirds 
and the y-intercept is negative 2. And this is finding the equation of the line. It'll start out pretty easy in this section. <coughs> then we'll kind of build upon these steps. Our first step is to find m. And this is true, um, these steps I'm put down here, this is true whether in elementary, intermediate, college, uh, calculus, uh, these steps still hold true. First step is to find m. Well, this one's pretty easy. m is given. They tell us slope is 5 thirds. Our second step is to find b. And um, what we're going to find is that most times we'll have to do some work for this, and we'll write more out here in the steps. Um, for this particular problem, since they give us a y-intercept, they give us b. So b is negative 2. And then step 3 is to write our answer. Our answer is we want y is equal to mx plus b. So you have to actually plug in the m we found, which was 5 thirds, and plug in the b, which is negative 2. And find equation in line with the given slope and y-intercept. That's all they're wanting us to do there, not wanting us to graph or anything. So that'd be your answer. <coughs> Let's look at this one. Slope is 0, and y-intercept is negative 5. Now we're going to go through the same three steps. But um, we could get by with it in this one. I think the next one we can't. Um, if you remember, we had two oddball cases. One of them where our graph was a vertical line, and that's where M is undefined. And one of them is where we had a horizontal line, and that was where uh, M is equal to zero. Well, M is equal to zero. That's what this is saying, isn't it? And remember, this, this form was X equals a number, and this form was Y equals a number. So our answer right here is y is equal to negative 5. Let's say you didn't see that um, on this particular problem. If we went through your steps, it would be obvious. Uh, first step, find m. Well, they give us to it. m is 0. Step 2, find b. Well, b is your y-intercept, and it's given. It's negative 5. And step 3, plug these into your formula here. y is equal to mx plus b. So we said m was 0 and b was negative 5. Well, 0 times x is 0, so that drops away, and you got y is equal to negative 5. That one you could get by without recognizing the it is an oddball case. This next one, uh, not, not, not so much. So let me see, number 10. Slope is undefined. and x-intercept is 2. Okay, recognizing the fact that slope is undefined means that's um, a vertical line. Um, so we know it's going to be like a vertical line. And if it crosses the, the x-axis, x-intercept is at 2, that means specifically over here at 2 is where it's crossing. So it looks like that. So Whenever you have a slope is undefined, that's always x is equal to a number, and since it's crossing at 2, it has to be x equals 2. If I try to go through my steps, you know, first step, find, find your slope. Slope is undefined. Step 2, find your y-intercept. I don't know, it tells us x-intercept, doesn't say y-intercept. Step 3, plug those into y is equal mx plus b. Uh, it doesn't work at all. Uh, because there are, we don't have a y in there. Um, so you put undefined here and it just doesn't work. Uh, so you have to recognize that one as the oddball case. And I think that's the last one. Yes, it is.